Greetings. This is the Forgotten Prime. And uh, today I am doing another rant. I already did a rant on this particular video. I'm going to basically make an addendum. We're going to rewatch the trailer. And while we watch it, I will pause it in between each certain section and point out a few things. And you could say it's a guy protecting another guy. I will t point out from both points of view, her side and his side. Here we go. <clears throat> Nice scuba suit. You need a ride, darling? How about a smile for me, huh? He offered a ride because he's trying to be nice. Yes, he is a guy. He is kind of maybe trying to hit on her. But that's a normal thing to do if you wish to find a mate and that goes for guy girl or otherwise her reaction is bored like stubborn arrogant and looks as him if he's a little bug a smile yeah i'm offering to help you At least you could do is give me a smile Yet again, she shows her testosterone towards him. Basically saying, you're a man. I'm better than you. Right off the bat. That right there does not conduce to a good character. Or person, for that matter. Male or female. How about a handshake? Okay. She offers a compromise. A handshake. So, a decent guy accepts said handshake. <laughs> I'm Veers. People call me the Don. Wow. And this is where things get weird. He wants to remove his hand from her hand, yet she holds it. Here's the kicker. She is, one, superpowered. He has no powers. He's human. Pure. No powers, no strength, no nothing. And yet, they're outside as well. I will remind you on that one. <laughs> and you just heard his hand crack. With great power comes great responsibility, and little lady, you're a bitch. You're not human. Proposition for you. You're going to give me your jacket, your helmet, and your motorcycle, and in return, I'm going to let you keep your hand. Alright. That right there is a almost ripoff, but not exact, but it's screams. Terminator 2. She's demanding the same thing the Terminator had requested in Terminator 2. The only thing was, is one, he was naked. Two, he didn't initiate the violence until after they did. She used her powers to, to intimidate and gain something through force. You could say whatever you like. That is a bully, not a ally, not a hero. Bully. <clears throat> Take it. <laughs> what, no smile? Gloating. Gloating. Not tea. Ugh. And she continues to steal.
this woman thinks she's above the law in any universe. Stealing is still stealing. Bullying is still bullying. You can say what have you. You can say that I'm being sexist all you like. There's the proof right there in plain sight. I'm recording it. Hello. Hello, McFly. Knock, 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 knock. Are your, is your head still not ripe yet? Even Captain Marvel's deleted scenes ain't safe from man's bad opinions. Men's. I know quite a few women who are online that are having a field day. Anna, that Star Wars girl. Jesse Milestone from Mindless Entertainment. Uh, Mecca Random. Oh, let's see. Nerd at Snoozestand. And the lust keeps continuing. You think guys are just the ones that are complaining about the fact that Captain Marvel is not a hero, but a true villain? In my last video, I pointed out that this would be three strikes. She bullied Jan Rog in the beginning when he was trying to train her to, to not misuse her powers. And then she goes off, gets lost on Earth, and she still misses her, her powers. And then, <laughs> even in the end, when he's like, let's duel equally. No, she misuses her powers yet again. Three strikes. And I bet you, if I actually looked at the other cutscenes, uh, cut I bet you I'd find more. I don't get this. You guys call us toxic masculinity for being a biker, stereotypical biker who are usually gruff, arrogant, somewhat, but. Every last one of them respects women a hell of a lot better than you do. I respect women more than you do. You are a failure. I'm, I feel bad saying this. If you think that we are bad opinions... Their women are saying the same thing. In case you thought we were finally past the point of having to deal with men's overzealous scrutiny of Captain Marvel, the consensus is now that she's unlikable and a villain, all because of a recently released deleted scene. Well, her actions tell the truth. And then, this dude posted himself twice. Once on IndieWire and MSN. Dude, double dipping? <sighs> Outraged male fans protest the clip of cri criticism of toxic masculinity by revealing some toxic masculinity of their own. <laughs> Where was that one spot? Yeah. In this version of the cutscene, the captain offers him a handshake and demonstrates her iron grip and asks for his bike, least he could lose his hand. That's a bully! That's not a hero. And then, yes, they're pointing out the truth. Stolen from Terminator. Uh, and yet, when a test-roaded, addled jerk on a motorcycle pulls up, and asks, what, no smile? He's like, you know, he didn't say, what, no smile? Could I get a smile? I ask that from time to time when I see persons that look like they're having a really shitty day. And I give them one in return. 
And then if they need help, I would be glad to help. And I will continue to be glad to help others. This right here is saying that you don't want people's help anymore. Well, guess what? This is the... Uh, this is what's going to happen. The exact opposite. Uh, a couple of others are saying that bad things could happen where guys will actually go the extreme and start hurting women because the fact that you guys are pushing that guys are extreme men. Well, guess what? What if it goes the exact opposite? What if they decided to walk the fuck away and let you fucking burn? That's where we're getting to. Because we're sick and tired of being blamed for every fucking thing. I am a male. So fucking what? I am not your punching bag. And nor are women. We like good stories. We like decent stories done right. Not plagiarism. Not bullyingism. Not sexism. That's what this is. And you call us the bad guys? Grow the fuck up. I'm glad I don't spend any more fucking money on you people. Because you don't fucking deserve it. The people that actually deserve my money are people like Comics Pro Secrets. And I know for a fact that I'll probably get a lot of hate mail for that. Please bring it. You'll make me notice too. I'm sick and tired of this nonsense. I am at a loss at how you think that it's a good idea to bully people. It's not. In this era of film industry, comic book, hobbyisms, there's a lot of finger pointing and a lot of cockfighting. Get over your fucking selves. Enjoy the industries that you're in. If you want to have fun and act, act. If you want to be a politician, be a politician. Get it out of my hobbies. That's all I ask. I'm a simple man. Asking a simple request. It kills me to think that comic book hobbies have become a political agenda. And it, it's driving me insane. Literally. And I can't do this anymore. You people are driving me up the fucking wall. I'm at that point where I'm about ready just to wipe my hands clean of all of you. And not bother fucking look at anything new. From any company. I will. Sit on my money. Until I. Hear. A possibility of a change. But I highly doubt it. It's going to remain like this. For the next 15 years I'm betting. And I'm going to be miserable. For it. So fuck you very much. And those of you that love to create great things, 
good luck on surviving that nightmare. Because that's all there is right now in hobbyisms. Fucking nightmare. Without respect, we reject. With great power comes great responsibility. Mainstream media, you are failing. <laughs>